Hi, I'm Richard Weinstein and I'm a Sydney-based advertising photographer. I specialize in macro and still life photography and today we're going to be exploring some of the new Godox lights that are available on the market. All right, so I was really excited today to um, start working with the MFR76. It's a beautiful little Godox ring flash. I was really surprised how light the whole unit was and really easy to start putting together. There's a lot of power in this little unit. There's actually more power than I need, so it's pretty good. So what's in the box? Comes with, you know, um, beautiful case, instructions. So opened it all out, really easy to insert the battery to get it all going. Now this is a rechargeable battery. Easy, quick to recharge. Um, it's gonna give you so many hours of use. And um, these are compatible with my 8100s, which is great. So it just pops in and um, we turn it straight on. What else is in the box is a whole set of lens adapter rings to mount the flash unit onto your lenses. So this is um, really important and you look at the front of your lens mount to work out the millimeter diameter. So this is a little 35 millimeter macro and the diameter is 52. So this is another lens I use a lot. It's a tilt shift 90 millimeter macro. Uh, you never know what lenses you're gonna be purchasing in the future. So this the range um, is pretty cool to have. What I've got on the camera today is the Canon 100mm macro. I've set that up to shoot some jewellery and the thread is 67. So we go in for the 67, we nicely screw on, don't over tighten it, just so it's got a nice firm grip. The 76 will just slide beautifully into that and then the little flash shoe just mounts onto the top of your camera just so it's nice and touch tight. Okay, and um, almost ready to get set up. Macro photography and jewelry photography are really challenging to get light refracting in and around to bring up the facets, to really show the detail and the quality of some of these stones. One of the biggest challenges for me when you're coming in really close is about the lighting. I'm always looking to explore new ways to light my subjects. It also has built in a couple of focus assist lamps and these really help focusing and composition to be made easier when working in low light and I'm just turning them on and off to show you the effect they're doing. The beauty of this 76 is that it actually has the ring light split into two independent flash units that I can control. So I can change the power of the right hand side or the left hand side up and down. That's gonna really give me a lot more texture and shape to my subject that not just a perfect even amount of light hitting, you're getting a little bit of molding and blend. So we're gonna explore that and actually see what gives us a more pleasing result. Everything's captured on a quite nice large screen on the back of the flash, so it's really easy to work. So the flash is bringing a lot more power and intensity and options to your photography. So I'm able to shoot at quite a high shutter speed. I'm gonna attempt 160. So that's also gonna help a lot with camera shake and with um, freezing any action. Power of the flashes is allowing me to go up to around F16 at this particular setting. I've put my flash settings at an eighth, so I'm not even running the unit at full power. Beauty of working tethered or with a laptop or connected to another device 
is it just allows me to see the image slightly larger than in the screen. And now I'd like to just experiment a little with changing the intensity of the right and the left hand side of our flash unit. Not bringing in another light source into the setup, but just bringing in a mirror. We're in macro, so we're just in a really small little space. So I'm just using a mirror for the background and that's gonna still use my ring flash and create another interesting light source. So I've got my setting of my A panel on an eighth and I'm reducing my B panel all the way down to off. So this is only the left hand panel flashing. So the flash allows me to really capture a fast shutter speed, great for movement, and great for getting everything absolutely pin sharp. And that's the beauty of flash. It's also going to give you a continuous color temperature and power every time. I'm now going to be adjusting my A section up to a half, B section which I'm taking down to a 64. So my A section considerably stronger than the B section. Slightly different result to the setup. Selecting my A section down to 64. And I'm taking the B section up to a half. So this is gonna make the B section of the flash a lot stronger than the A. This adjusts texture, it adjusts the way the jewelry is reacting to the light source, and it's gonna give me some nice options to compare with. So it's really nice to experiment in those ways of your ratio, playing with your flash ratio, not just having a continuous flash coming out of the ring, but adjusting the right hand side and the left hand side to get slightly different results and intensities gives me a lot of control to really open up the aperture really wide. I'm taking my A panel also up to full power. So this is the maximum this flash can run at. Both panels, even light, and I'm getting pretty much maximum F32 out of my aperture. That's really gonna help my depth of field if I wanted that effect. As you can see with jewelry photography, when we're getting our objects so close to our lens, it's really challenging to get light into the diamonds, around the metals. So that's why the ring flash is such a great tool to work with and explore. Allows you to really get into macro and micro macro and bring light into those areas with the control that you've got. Controlling the right side, controlling the left side. Beautiful, I love it. I love it. The flash also rotates, so that's giving you lots more options. You can either have it more top and bottom, or you can have it a little more left and right. So I've popped this beautiful little ring from Avena just onto a mirror. Again, just go with really simple setups. You'll be surprised on the wonderful result you can get. What's great with the little LEDs, they can assist you to focus and that's the on off. And they can also be adjusted through the settings so you can dim down your LEDs or you can brighten them up. But the flash is absolutely beautiful. We're getting a crisp, clean result. I've got this little blue block which is reflecting in the mirror and creating this uh, really interesting 
background effect. I'm really enjoying that. Another thing you can try to be creative is to just slide off the ring and use it slightly off camera, maybe creating a little bit of side light or a little bit of top light. So just this one really great tool can be used in so many different ways. Don't be afraid to experiment, to explore. You never know what you might discover when you start having a little bit of fun. Don't forget to subscribe and connect in with all the Godox channels. There's lots of new information coming. There's lots of interesting videos. I'm Richard Weinstein and thank you for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.